Instant messaging is another great Web 2.0 application. A lot of us in the internet age use instant messaging and chat programs to communicate with our friends. It's a great thing, it's a, it's a wonderful productivity aid, but the bad guys, the data snatchers, have learned how to use that to their advantage as well. And they'll typically send you a link saying, here's a video of Amber, we'll make up some common name, and when you click that link, it looks like it wants to show you a video of someone, some girl, but lo and behold, you actually have to install a new version of Adobe Flash or a new codec in order to view it. Don't ever do it because that's always something dangerous. If you are an instant messenger user, how do you keep safe? The first thing is, again, have a, a, a healthy dose of, of skepticism. It's, it's probably not a pretty Russian girl who wants to be your friend. It's probably not even a girl. It's probably some guy somewhere. Uh, secondly, don't talk to strangers. Your mother told you that when you were little and it's still good advice. And thirdly, never install anything that you've been told to do over Instant Messenger. Mm -hmm.